Being the governor of Gibraltar in the 18th century was pretty lucrative, with local taxes going straight into their pockets. But governors appear to have taken this to another level, appropriating properties at their whim. Of course, the locals weren't about to lose their homes without putting up a fight. And as the complaints mounted, the Crown took action. The Bland Register was uh, carried out in 1749 by orders of King George III uh, from Whitehall. And he ordered um, the, the then governor of Gibraltar, Lieutenant General Humphrey Bland, which was an author as well, apart from a, a governor, he was a military author. He, he, he wrote the first military treatise, um, ordered him to carry out an inquiry into property grants and people were allowed to claim um, the properties which had, uh, prior to 1749 had been um, taken over, taken over by, by, by subsequent governors. The document is important as it proves the power of the people even in 1749 but it's historically valuable on so many levels. It was the start of maybe you could say administrative administrative practices in Gibraltar because everything was laid down in the one and only unique document that we hold here in the archives. The actual document which can be found online has been condensed to a 310 page booklet. The original required a lot of TLC and needed to be restored. From going from the original document that we have in the archive to actually going to the final um, PDF searchable document uh, took some um, time because the condition was not uh, like 100%. It was obviously it's many years have gone by and there was a state of deterioration which we had to treat and conserve, uh, apply conservation treatments and conserve up to the point. It, 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 it certainly requires further further conservation, but it, 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 we got it to a point where we actually put it into the machine. The machine in itself is a specialized machine for this type of work, but obviously the, if, if, we, we, if we were uh, put the, the document in its current state the, where, before treatment, it, some of the pages might have disintegrated or it wouldn't have been good for the, for the, for the document. And we, we have to reiterate and remember it is unique. It is the one and only like 90, 99% of the stuff that we hold here which we have collected from government departments over the years, is unique, irreplaceable. The most important and oldest documents are kept in a digitalised preservation vault, which is internationally synchronised and backed up in six data centres. The self-healing process means there is always an original intact. The security features include a unique digital fingerprint, and what is perhaps most important of all is that the formats automatically update to ensure that despite technological changes, the documents survive the test of time.